everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be talking about the science of water beads. So I recently purchased some water beads for my kids to play with, um, and I wanted to show you guys what they look like first. So when you first get them, they are like hard little pieces of plastic. I did buy the jumbo water beads, so these are supposed to get up to the size of a golf ball instead of those little like Orbeez ones that you can get that are much, much smaller, like the size of a marble. So they start off about marble size, and you can see when you first put them in water, they end up getting all these little dimples on them, and over time, they'll expand in that water. So um, the package said it, took, it takes up to three days for them to fully expand, and you can see this is what it looks like when I first put them in. I just put them in a swimming pool full of water. Now, I did not wait three days. After 24 hours, I pulled one out of the water, and it was already its full size. Uh, so you can see it's significantly increased in size just overnight um, and this is what the pool looked like with all of them in it now my kids had tons of fun with this Solara, lucy and dean they had a blast i will caution you that if you are wanting your kids to play with this they do break so easily so you can see the inside um, and what they look like when they start to break apart it will end up being these teeny tiny little pieces everywhere and kids love to squish them so just a word of caution for you now, let's talk about the science, right? So what exactly is it? It's a super absorbent polymer. Um, in other words, an SAP. And so you're probably wondering what in the world is a polymer? Let's start there. So before we go to polymer, you need to know what a monomer is. And that's just a small molecule. So I went ahead and I just drew a small molecule or what a small molecule would look like, right? On a molecular level. So here's just three different atoms that I put together for a little small molecule. Now. A polymer is just a chain of those monomers. So it's a long chain of molecules with a repeated pattern. So you notice I just took this one and I've repeated it and connected it. Um, it's chemically connected now, right? To make a polymer. Now you know a polymers already. You might just not know you know what they are. So for example, gelatin, paper, horns on animals, um, bones, things like that. Those are all polymers. So you, they're all around us. You might just not be able to identify them as polymers yet. Now, the really cool thing about water beads is they can grow 100 to 400 times their size. Now, um, this is the same kind of material that's in baby diapers. I know, gross, right? But it is. It, it's the stuff that absorbs everything in the baby diaper. Now, um, it does do this through osmosis. Now, osmosis is just the movement of water through a membrane to reach equilibrium. Now the water beads have a membrane that coats them on the outside and it's a semi-permeable membrane, which means that water can go through it and it's going to continue to go through that semi-permeable membrane until it expands and reaches equilibrium through osmosis. So look at this picture. You can't see any of the clear beads. There are lots of clear beads in the swimming pool, but you can't see them. So why is that? It's because of the refractive index. So let's talk about that for a second. The refractive index depends upon light speed and direction. It really comes from refraction, which is a wave property of light. So if you're thinking about this, the clear water beads, any of the water beads for that matter, have so much water in them that light is going to enter them and move through them in the same typical way as it does through liquid water because they're almost all water themselves uh, because it's so similar it's almost equal the refractive index of the water bead the refractive index of the liquid water it essentially disappears therefore you can't see it in the picture in fact even when you're standing right next to it it's very 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 hard to see any clear beads it's like a magic trick it just kind of disappears before your eyes so go ahead and try it it's pretty fun I hope you all found this informative and entertaining. Thank you all for watching. Hey everybody, if you just enjoyed that video, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can see all the new cool science videos that I'm uploading. Thanks everybody, bye.